1,650 rounds were used. Brigadier General Dyer's Special 50 were fully armed infantry. 25 men of the 9th Gurkhas and 25 men of the Frontier Force. They were equipped for every eventuality and had combination of machine guns, rifles and knives. 20,000 to 30,000 people gathered at Jaliawala Bagh on April 13, 1919. It was Baisakhi, the beginning of a new year. There was a rumour a famous lawyer Kanaya Lal had to speak. Amritsar, like the rest of India, had been swept up in protests of the Rowlett Act, a draconian piece of legislation which was a complete surrender of civil liberties. Political activity was forbidden and you could be detained without a trial indefinitely. The Jaliawala Bagh had served as a gathering place through the months for any protests against the Act. Many had gathered to listen to speakers. Among them was Amin Chand, a Hakim by profession, but who spent most of his time agitating for freedom. Nanak Singh, who later became Punjab's most famous writer, had gone to see the Jalsa with his two friends. But they were those who had wandered in. 13-year-old Madan Mohan was one of them. He had gone with his friends to play. He never came back. His father, a dentist, had to pick out his body from the pile of corpses. There's misreading after misreading, but they're sort of accumulative. And I find it really remarkable that, you know, Indian protesters, after the British soldiers opened fire on the 10th, mm. still believe it's possible to negotiate with the British. Yeah, yeah. There is, right to the, you know, the first shot is fired at Jalan Wallabag, mm. there is an abiding uh, belief mm. in the justness of the Saka. Um, and the British, of course, operating on, on very, very different, different expectations. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's actually, you've got two groups facing each other, but they're not seeing each other. Yeah. So what they're doing is actually they're responding to a reflection of their own fears or expectations. Mm -hmm. And that is, for me, sort of the crux of the matter. With the ghosts of 1857 looming large, Dyer ordered his men to fire on a peaceful crowd. The bark turned into a battlefield as dismembered corpses lay littered on the ground. There were those who survived, buried under a pile of the dead. That night, Ratan Devi spent the night in the bag guarding her husband's body. She narrates her experience. I seated myself by the side of my dead husband. Accidentally, I found a bamboo stick, which I kept in my hand to keep off dolls. I saw three men breathing in agony, a buffalo, struggling in great pain and a boy about 12 years old in agony entreated me not to leave the place. I told him that I could not go anywhere leaving the body of my dead husband. I asked him if he wanted any wrap and if he was feeling cold I could spread it over him. He asked for water but water could not be procured at that place. The Jaliawala Bagh massacre was one of the worst in the history of the Raj. Even till today, we don't know for sure how many people died. What followed was worse. The British, determined to crush the spirit of Amritsar, declared war on its citizens. Martial law was declared. Amritsar turned into a concentration camp and a reign of terror followed. In Kucha Kodiawala, or the Crawling Lane, where Masala Sherwood, an English woman had been beaten with sticks in the violence of April 10, a tiktiki or a flogging post was erected. The Partition Museum in Amritsar has recreated the flogging post. The idea is for people to remember. So under the martial law, there were uh, certain martial laws were imposed on the Indian people. Like the, they, were, they are not allowed to take a bicycle or to take a property. Or, like, there were so many martial laws were like that. People cannot uh, walk in a group. If they do so, they would be flogged on the flogging post like this. And this is the flogging post. And they were uh, hang up on the flogging post like this and they were beaten by the stake. As you can see the picture here, so they will be done like this until they won't get die or they won't get uh, unconscious.